Coming up on Torrance today, the South Bay community comes together for an evening of food and music to raise money for the victims of the Maui wildfires. The Torrance High Tartars play their first home game of the season, and a unique reading program featuring therapy dogs returns to the library. All this and more coming up right now on Torrance Today. Welcome to Torrance Today. I'm Kirk Lyons. It's 4 p.m. on Tuesday, September 5th. I hope you're having a great day so far. Thank you so much for joining us. Here's our first story. The wildfires that swept through western Maui early last month took the lives of 115 people and displaced thousands of others from their homes. Now business owners and residents across the South Bay are banding together to help those most affected. I think it's important for all of us as humans to share whether it's money, supplies, our thoughts, our prayers. This room is packed. And um, it was just instantaneous about the help that they wanted to give to the people in Maui. So our hearts go out to all of you. The Japanese American community in, in Torrance is, is a large community and a lot of us have uh, roots in Hawaii. Lahaina is just a beautiful place. And, and to see the devastation is just um, it's heartbreaking. And the people on, in Maui are going to need help for, you know, for a while. It's going to take a long time for, um, for them to recover. Thousands of people have been affected in Maui. The Hawaiian community is very, very tight. And words like aloha and ohana mean the world to us. So that's kind of the goal behind all of this is to show our support in any way we can. One Ohana Collective, a group of South Bay businesses and entertainers, organized this sold-out benefit dinner and concert at the Gardena Valley Japanese Cultural Institute, raising more than $40,000 so far. Sunday's event featured food and beverages for some of the area's Hawaiian restaurants and a performance from the band Elemental Funk. If you missed this fundraiser, there is another Maui relief effort taking place this weekend. El Camino College will host an event called Defining Courage on Saturday, September 9th at 7 p.m. The evening is dedicated to celebrating the legacy of the Nisei soldiers, Americans of Japanese ancestry who served our country during World War II despite the internment of more than 125,000 of their fellow Japanese Americans. For more information, visit DefiningCourageShow.com. Torrance High School varsity football team played its first home game of the season against Redondo Union High School, but the outcome wasn't what the Tartars were hoping for. We could have did a better job on executing, but you know, when they go against teams like that, you know, there's no room for error. We just got to get back to the drawing board and get better at practice. I mean, we just got to continue to show up every day at practice and put in the work, you know, to think, do the things that's going to make us get better and win games. The 24-14 loss moves the Tartars' record to 1-1 one one after two games. Coach Carter says it's early in the season with a lot of football to be played. The Tartars' next game is at San Pedro High School on Friday, September 8th at 7 p.m. From high school to professional football, the new NFL season starts this week, and Torrance Transit is making trips to SoFi Stadium more convenient than ever. It will offer trips from the Mary Kay Giordano Regional Transit Center for just $2 each way starting sep Sunday, September 10th. That's when the Chargers play the Miami Dolphins. Buses begin departing approximately two hours before game time and will make return trips to the transit center for 90 minutes after the game ends. A round trip ticket costs $4 with discounts for the disabled, seniors, and students. Children under five ride for free and parking at the transit center during the game is also free. For more information, visit transit.torrentsca.gov. The Torrance Refining Company will conduct its monthly community alert siren test tomorrow at 11.30 a.m. The sirens will sound like this. Remember, this is only a test. One minute all clear chimes will follow a two minute siren tone. During a real emergency, you will hear the sirens as well as the message, shelter, shut, listen, alerting you to shelter in place. That means if you're at home, go indoors, close all vents, windows, and doors, and listen for instructions on local cable and radio. 
If you're driving, continue doing so. Close windows and vents and turn your radio to 1620 AM city sounds. If you're in a parked car, do not start the engine. Close your windows and vents and turn your radio to 1620 AM city sounds. And in all situations, listen for the chime sound that will signal the all clear. For more information, you can call the Torrance Refining Company at 310-212-1852. A unique breeding program that involves therapy dogs is coming back to Torrance this week. City Cable was there to check out one of their recent visits at Southeast Torrance Library. The dogs are really cute. The dogs are cute and I'm having fun too. We're going to have children read to the dogs and it encourages children to read books and that's what's important. The children pick the books out so it's whatever they want to pick out and read to the dog. That's the whole idea is they're reading to the dogs and the dogs are listening. Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Really appreciate this resource uh, that we have at the city of Torrance. Um, and thanks for the summer reading program. The boys are enrolled in the summer reading program as well. It's the smile on the children's faces and children getting used to dogs. Some children are afraid, but this brings books and animals together. Bark is a volunteer-run program that began 15 years ago and has grown to 130 teams listening to kids in more than 100 libraries and schools. Certified therapy dogs help readers across Southern California and beyond to read out loud and gain confidence while doing so. They also help de-stress college students during finals week and visit nursing homes, veteran centers, and other facilities as time allows. The city hosts monthly visits from Bark volunteers across its six library locations. This week's event takes place at 3.30 p.m. on Friday, September 8th at the Katie Geyser Civic Center Library. For more information, check out library.torrensca.gov slash calendar. There is another event taking place at one of our city's libraries that involves reading and animals, but this one involves stuffed animals. El Retiro Library invites children to drop off one of their stuffed animals during operating hours either this Thursday, September 7th, or Friday, September 8th for a sleepover. Library staff will take good care of the critters, chronicling their stay with pictures of all the activities they take part in. At 11 a.m. on Saturday, September 9th, the kids can return to the library for a special story time featuring their furry friend's overnight adventure. Pictures of those adventures will also be posted on the library's social media pages. For more information, visit library.torrentsca.gov and click on the Programs and Events button. Business and property owners in downtown Torrance have expressed an interest in adding a layer of safety and security, as well as a more unified brand to attract more people to the area. So the city hired the Urban Place Consulting Group to explore the possibility of establishing a business improvement district, or BID, in downtown Torrance. For those interested in learning more, there will be a meeting taking place on Monday, September 11th at 6 p.m. at the Ken Miller Recreation Center. The meeting will focus on what a business improvement district is and how it may benefit those in the area. The boundaries of the bid and how it functions are primarily determined by the business and or property owners, so active participation is crucial. Still ahead, it's Touchdown Tuesday, and the clock is winding down to sign up for the city's flag football league when we come back in 60 seconds. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed.
At the end of every episode of Torrance Today, we want to share a positive story that fits the theme for the day. On this Touchdown Tuesday, a new co-ed flag football season is set to start soon, and this is the last call for any sign-ups. The league is for kindergartners to eighth graders. Eight weeks of league play begins on Saturday, September 23rd, with games taking place at Wilson Park on Saturdays and some weekdays. Volunteer coaches are also needed. Registration for the league ends at 5 p.m. today. For more information and to register, visit torrentsca.gov slash class registration. Well, that's our show for today. Let us know if you have a positive story to tell by emailing us at torrentstoday at torrentsca.gov. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow with more news from and for our Torrance communities. Have a good day.